Welcome back, everybody. The Farming Simulator 17. Here with Mr. Blue, your host. I just messed that all up, didn't I? Anyway, I was trying to concentrate on the GPS lines. Uh, we're not quite even right here. But uh, on that side and that side... We, we can use a GPS to stay straight with the uh, combine. And we must be... Oh, the combine's out. Okay. That's what I was going to say. Uh, we must be full, but we're not. But guess what? We're going to go ahead and unload anyway. Uh, anyway, we're on Blake Farms. If you are new to the map, um... Check out yesterday's episode. We uh, started harvesting uh, late, and uh, there goes my phone going off. Uh, but anyway, we got a semi truck right there that's waiting on us to my left right there. We're going to be offloading into it, but first, we're going to go down here and offload in this. Uh, I don't know really what you would call it. I guess a mini hopper. It's just like a half of a semi truck. Uh, it holds 50,000. Uh, actually, uh, the modder made it hold, I think, 24,000, but I had it beefed up to hold 50. Well, we're waiting on my pipe to get out there. Now I'm gonna check my little gray box here, make sure. Uh, and it's clear, it says manual pipe unloading. I'll throw one down from the top. As long as it don't have an exclamation mark by it, you can go ahead and hit R, and you won't have to worry about it spilling on the ground. Let's get rid of that gray box. But uh, what's new, uh, I got the honey loaded onto the trailer. I was doing that while, um, I guess it's J Metal 797 driving it now. A G Baby Girl must have went home. But uh, anyway, from the corner of the wheat field right there, folks, back over to Never Never Land over there, I'm going to cut straight across there and make it feel even, take that grass out. Uh, up here is going to be a more shop area. We're going to make a shop yard bigger. Um, just because we need to park some more stuff up here and kind of spread it out so it won't be getting laggy. I did not take notice of how much this auger wagon had in it. Uh, J Metal should be coming around the corner. Anyway, we're going to get this uh, auger wagon unloaded and then we're going to go and put the follow me back on. So, follow on around the field. Wow, this thing takes forever to unload. I did not know that. Oh, I see a J Metal in between the grain bins right there. Uh, that's pretty neat. Alright. Uh, kind of hard to see but they'll be coming around that being there here in a minute and this is about as long as I think real life would done unload by now I'm going to hop in our case here and see how much is in the oh it's almost full and it is full, cool, ain't it? Yep, 50,000. Alright, we're going to tarp this. And what do we need wheat for? I'm trying to think. Our pigs need it. 
We don't have pigs though, so it ain't no sense. So anyway, I'm gonna just uh, oh, we're spinning a little bit, spinning. And it must be heavy. I'm just gonna park it right here for right now. Uh, one of our factories um, uses it. I can't remember which one. Well, yeah, I like this. Uh, well, I don't like where it hooks up. Must be down at the bottom. Huh. Okie dokie. Anyway, we got a dolly right there. Uh, and pretty realistic looking trailer besides the tongue. Here how high in the idle this thing runs when I'm not in it. But yeah, as you can see right here, we got extreme lag. It's because there's so much stuff right here. And I just really come to think of it where I put all those factories. I, I, I dread to see that outcome. Uh, there's uh, several things in this episode I want to show y'all. Let's get uh, right here. Let's go ahead and take our 7800 here with these big old fat tires. I figure we're probably going to need it with this. And this is our uh, newest mod here. Oh, we're taking off, okay. It's just the, the, the lag. Uh, uh, let's see here. Pipe out. And then to lower, you turn on also. So it'll be LB and B. And then after you get that out, that's LB and X. And the combine probably could make another. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't shoot in that. Oh, Lordy. I might get away from these pipes. Come on. That might do it right there. It's trying to shoot into an auger that's over there. Go to the restaurant it instead of this trailer. Now I'm gonna just do this right here. Uh, we got some right here down here on the end that we didn't get so uh, what we're going to do is start us a GPS see if it recognizes 24.5 uh, we're going to do new oh uh, no I probably should have too late now drive course or not drive course but 21 mile an hour. Ooh. We're going to turn that down to about. Say about. Let's, let's just do 12. That we're going to run over them. Now this thing holds 200,000 liters of straw. I don't want to take. I don't know how much we're going to need down there for the factories. So. Uh, we're going to just uh, take about 50,000 maybe. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, I need that. We got to load this thing up. As you can see, I got them loaded. Oh, we got, let's see. Be, whoa. Trying to count them. Turn around too fast. 
So that'll be 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 pallets of honey. And we're going to take them down to the honeybee plant. Get on here just enough. Let's see. It should, whoop. Let my forks down. Okay, I should be able to. Right there. Right there, right there. Now, the only thing about this, there is not a auto locking system or auto load to this trailer whatsoever. And uh, um, y'all going to see uh, locking, working position, pallets, and stuff like that. That's for the truck. I could load some pallets up on the truck, but we're not going to do that. So, uh, as you can see, the trailer probably does have a, a auto load. Because it looks like pallets is double written right there to me. When you see work position and work position and then fold ramps, it's all A. So I think that's why it's not working. And the ramps clear the cat. You can see we could back up. So we probably let's see, what did I say? 18, we 20, 24. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We could probably get about anywhere 31 to 35 pallets on here or, or what. We can hold uh, probably four tall also. But um, where's our combine? Oh. 72 percent um i'm not going to drive a course play with this i'm going to drive it myself over there but uh, i'm going to get it up over to our shop here and then we're going to go check on the combines and then uh come back and drive this but uh in this episode i really want to get a load of straw bring down here and get this honey sold folks we gotta get out of debt here before we even pay the bank back we're in debt 157,000 that's just at night time uh, at midnight the loan um, like I said we oh my brakes don't work work got a load on this thing well I don't know if y'all seen the shop or not inside um, last episode I think the door was closed uh, but yeah, we can do a pressure washer from inside. I place this down by the anywhere mod. Let me get my speed back on. Uh, I think these are tomatoes and cucumbers. And back here we got strawberries and tomatoes. And tomorrow will probably be a shout out video after we get these going. And then you know, we'll see why it's a furry little bunny that speaks and get a shout out. Pimpkin, your day's tomorrow, hopefully. If not tomorrow, the next day. But folks, this is the thing. It takes straw. You put loose straw here. You get liquid and solid manure. So, uh, yeah, our combine 90%. We're gonna have to dump. We're gonna have to dump. Get to uh, who? Mr. Yankee and J Meadow 797, folks. And once again, uh, these are YouTubers, uh, that's part of my family. Go down below in the description and you'll see all of them. Uh, got quite a few there. They're all family and they 
quite a few of them helped me out so or you can go help them out by uh, showing some love by hitting that red button for them and right here you can see folks oh I hate when you activate GPS uh, anything with LB and down on the D-pad gets activated too but this may get off course every now and then Oh, look at there. Mr. J Metal is ready to get unloaded. Yeah, you can see right here, it's uh, then got off course. And you just have to do this every once in a while to get back on course. Let's put the green line about under the pipe there. I gotta speed up, get him unloaded. Uh, something ain't quite right. Maybe I need to scoot back over. Why are we not unloading? Huh. Oh, there it goes. Okay, the pipe had to get about halfway over. I figured it'd be something like that. Well, we're going uh, six mile an hour. Uh, that'd be a good screenshot. And you don't have to worry about uh, controlling the steering or anything. You can actually take your hands and go to the screenshot notification. Uh, like I said, I'm using uh, GPS here and Sorry, folks. Mouth so dry, I had to get a drink real quick. But I wish, uh, but you can do this with follow me too. Uh, just take a little practice. You gotta get, you know, y'all set this right, and then get your forward offset this right, and you can have follow me to do this. One thing about it, it be uh, rough on the corners up there. But anyway, I'm gonna get this guy set back to follow me and we'll unload him again when he gets old close to the green tanks ah here we go there we go all right we're going to go ahead and try to take us to the honeybee area real quick I'm going to turn my speed down to about 18 mile an hour as long as we don't make a sharp turn. But what do you think, folks? Uh, we ended up making this road to right here. Uh, then we ended up clearing the trees out. And now it looks like we got a pretty good little sized factory area going. Uh, we got fuel production. Uh, we got solid and liquid manure. Um, one of those plants gives off power food and the other one gives off manure so it's going to be twice the manure which most of the manure from here will feed the greenhouses so it's kind of like we're going green and also uh, you know we can put down solar panels too maybe a windmill or something even though we did cut down some trees, you know, let's take away our oxygen and we'll cut down trees. But we we are going back, you know, kind of green, I guess you can say, with uh, raising tomatoes and stuff. And we're helping the bees out. And look at there, folks. That field right there, a field to our left is our soybeans and they are coming up quite good but we got a few weeds out there every once in a while and I, I, I'd love what FS19 done folks they come out <laughs> they come out with those uh, uh, sprayer where it kills the weeds that's pretty neat alright we're here at the animal dealer 
um, that's her chicken coop too right there, not chicken coop, but her chicken dealer that place down um, next time around I'm thinking about planting grass in this field and uh, you know probably like you're planting grass oh whoa um oh no oh no we're hung Oh, picking a truck up off the ground. Now that's when you know you got a load of honey. Now turn, make it this time. Oh, come on. Oh, that was dangerous, but it worked. Not realistic either. Been real, I would have had to get a tractor or, or, or back up and went around this way. But I knew our honey was strapped down. The only, only real danger would have been the bobcat back here coming off the trailer. And it did look like it scooted over a little bit. Yeah, we're almost here. And oh, it's 31. I started to say our harvester is 51% again. Uh, I'm going to slow down easily. I forgot my blinker. It's barely working on the trailer. Okay. And yes, folks, this is our planner up here, which y'all should see in the other episode. Uh, yesterday's episode, be matter of fact. If you want to see a little bit of it. Um, we got the seeds and stuff. There's our fuel trigger. And if you look on over there, back by that square building, there is a milk trigger. Alright, I want to pull here in the grass. So we'll have enough room to get this unloaded. Oh, it's kind of rocky right here. Tell you what, let me pull on around. Uh, I didn't do another screenshot. Okay, I'm going to have to blur that now. Right, I'm going to stop it about right there. Oh, forgot my ramps. All right, there's the ramps down, and combines 44%. percent we we'll probably have to go. Let's go. Uh, we'll give it just a little bit more. Let it get a little bit closer. Uh, give us time to get a few of these off. Now, when I put these on here, I kind of jammed them together so I'm going to start with the small side first so, uh, un let's go ahead and unstrap these and this one kind of tricky we can't see your forks oh see what I'm talking about I knew I wasn't going forward for some reason there we go that's why usually you have a spotter do is just uh, try to aim for this door here and it'll open automatically and you see we got some in here already let's do the great box uh, it's not going to give me any info 
There we go. Uh, hop out. Milk is 25%. Uh, timber is still 99. Honey is 33%. So we are going to have to bring some milk down here. Uh, I didn't check to see the honey milk go. Ah, right, go get the one on the other side. We'll probably have to get the combine unloaded. Whoa, I'm way off. Guess I'll be my own spotter, huh? Alright, we got two of them off. Whoa, whoa. Y'all did not see that. I'm trying to look at the map. Alright, we need to go unload the combine after this one. Open door, open. I'm glad you're uh, don't have collision. That would be something. All right. Shut our motor off. We're gonna hop out. We gotta get this strap right here off because don't it's gonna hold those four that we need. So uh, your truck. I mean a tractor. Gotta go get our tractor. Alright, uh, control F. Alright, well you've seen the status of the honey milk. I mean of uh, the uh actually milk and milk and uh honey. I didn't get to look at the honey milk. I forgot to look at it. Right, get about right here and set our cruise speed. One thing about it, all you gotta do is get on the straw. Oop, we gotta slow down just a little. Get your tractor right on the straw well right there, and uh, you'll be about perfect unloading. And you look at the top left corner up there, you, you can see harvesting wheat, 46%. And you'll notice that'll go down. That's your combine there. And transporting would be you. I have your name, you know, beside of it. Which will run 6.2 mile there. Sorry about that, though, it's 6. In the case, Magnum, it's got 100% wheat in it. That's that trailer. Um, as far as I know, that wheat there I need to go to our chickens. I'm gonna go ahead and unload this guy. I probably need to leave a pipe in until I get over. We actually need to move our truck over to the house over on that road because it's going to be more likely where we can unload each time but our piggyback trailer there as I would call it it's got 50,000 liters in it we're going to take it to the cows put it in the chicken uh, storage down there for the chickens and um, the rest of this is probably just going to go in storage till we get a great demand for it uh, I'm pretty sure the bank manager agree more money we get from it will be better than paying the loan back. Okay, okay. Once again, you know, if for some reason farming similar used to be you just pull over the trailer and start unloading, but now they add that more realistic, you have to actually look and see. 
before you unload it. If, if you're not just right, it's going to uh, really mess you up. All right, we going to uh, let him unload this, and we're going to try to find. Our, um, let's go see how much honey milk we got real quick. I think it's right here. Honey milk, a hundred percent. So we're gonna have to unload this thing before it can make any more. Okay. So that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah they need cleaning. We'll do that here in a minute. Um, no, auto save where I thought it was. Now here's our baler. Uh, I do want to get some straws also, so. Uh, Go ahead and unfold this. And we're just going to do the headland cross here. Turn that back on. I think that's all we got to do. Um, that should be already unfolded. Yeah, it's already unfolded. I want to get straightened up here. I didn't turn quite right. Let's see if I can back this thing up. That right, should be good now. We're going to let that down, turn it on. Let's see what happens here. Two, four, six. It's showing. I see it now. Uh, bottom right says we got six bells, and uh, we're like eighty-seven percent. That's seven bells. That's eight bells. That's hundred percent. Uh oh. Much further we can go. I'm gonna stop it right there. We'll have to get our truck too. Um, let's see what it says. F1 unload bells is why. Well, folks, that's right there. That's eight bells. That's going to be pretty awesome. Kind of slow. Now what I'm going to do. Um, I'll load bales here. There it goes. Lower loading platform. We're going to see if we can hire a worker and do this. If so, that would be pretty awesome. But we'll probably get one more stack of bells like that. And then let's see what a hired worker would do. Alright, just hired one. I want to get out. watch him do his thing here
Whoa, whoa. What's going on? What's going on here? Y'all see that? Can I pick that bell up and uh, redo it? So I had to hit uh, operating position again. Oh, okay. So it's like an auto load. It took the bell, so that's good. Now, how it work again? We should have another stack. I'm just going to let him make a couple more rounds. And when he gets back to the grain bins, I'm going to try to remember to set him up and back and forth, I should say, on the combine there. I, I totally forgot to do it. I probably could have done it then, but I was experimenting with this thing, so. Yeah. Uh, Well, like I said, we're going to get one more stack and then we're going to go get some uh, loose straw. I'm hoping he would uh, get the bells he needed before we turn, but don't look like it. That's six. There's seven. We might be able to get it within reason. And there's eight. Man, he's going out and folks his field. I should have let him turn, but now I can get crop destruction. But I ain't uh, pick some by this field. Now it looks like I'm having trouble turning with the baler. The baler not wanting to turn very sharp. I think it might be because we got a bale hanging out the back. I'm not for sure. I'm going to get right here. Hire a worker. And we're going to see if he's going to unload. That's the only thing I'm looking at. Because if he don't auto unload, we really don't need this. I can understand, you know, we're doing it ourselves. We have to unload ourselves, but. Uh, he's just going to drop them on the ground. Okay. So the trailer don't auto unload. And that's pretty messed up right there. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, let's see, we need to fold that up. I'm going to see if I can back up a little bit more, get out of the combine's way. And then we're going to unload bales. So I guess it's probably just going to be just as good to just get the semi-truck followers around on the field. We had to go out and pick them up anyway. So this back part we probably don't need. Uh, yeah, it kind of saves. But uh, you got to uh, do all these push of the buttons and stuff. Uh, see, I didn't hit Y twice. One to unload. Then unload belts here. And then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I got hit uh, operating position again. And see, it caught that bell and sent it 
back on the loading station there so yeah that's quite a bit of work to that which works okay but um we need to get this guy here I uh, hit the wrong one how about that uh 73 percent wheat so we're going to be back over here So, folks, I think I'm going to kill it right here. Or, I don't mean kill it, but you know what I mean. Uh, time to end the episode. And, uh... Oh, I was down to six. And auto-save. Raise my speed back up. But anyway, I appreciate each and every one of y'all coming out watching. I love each and every one of y'all. And, uh, I'm gonna have to get the tanker and get some milk so we can take it down to the, uh, honeybee factory. Probably do that off screen while I'm, uh, this guy here. We're gonna do some, uh, no more place for new pallets at wool at sheep. Okay, dokie. It keeps on giving me that error. It's like I gotta unload it every time. Oh, and I'm on spare. Slow my time down. Where is it? That might be now. But, um. Other than that, folks, uh, like I said, I'm gonna get the milk off screen, take it to the honeybee factory, uh, get a little bit more of this done. Because we do have some other fields. We got canola and barley that's ready. From here, we'll probably go down to the market shop. Uh, not this right here where pigs at on the green trees, but on down you see a little house up there, top center of the map there or of the screen. There's a house. We got a small field of barley there, and uh, we'll get it first before we go over and, and the rest of our fields are over there till the soybeans get ready uh 90 percent wheat so we timed that just about right and all i gotta do is get my speed back down to six and i should be able to lock in this course right here Speed on up. And lock. My speed. And perfecto. Right on the money. But anyway, folks, once again, thank you very much for coming out. And I will see y'all later. Or I can see you tomorrow. Later.